Hi, welcome to my video for Z distribution question and answer, where I'll discuss one or two questions regarding the Z distribution uh, um, uh, on reference uh, using the reference of our Z distribution video. Right, so you might as well watch the video first before you go to this uh, Z distribution question and answer video. Right, let's go straight to the question. This question is about two machines. So let's clear the screen. Let's read together. Two machines are used for filling plastic bottles with a net volume of 16 ounces. The filling processes can be assumed to be normal. The standard deviation of sigma 1 0 0.015 and sigma 2 0 0.018, the quality engineering department suspects that both machines fill at the same net volume, whether or not that this volume is 16 ounces. Now, an experiment is performed by taking random samples, 10 samples per machine. And it is tabulated there at machine 1 and machine 2. So, question A, state the hypothesis. Question B, use alpha 5% or 0 0.05. This will be your bounding region, uh, bounding um, sector or the critical region. And then, in the final, and finally, write A, confidence interval because... Uh, we want to know, um, we want to check whether your hypothesis is true from the calculation. So from here, I have a blank space, as you can see on the slide there. And also the one that you have seen on uh, tutorial. So I'm going to discuss on uh, the steps or whatever I'm going to write down in the blank page. Right, let's bring in the pens. And use a blue one. All right. So usually, when you want to start with this sort of question, look at the these two. Oh. Increase it some more. Look at this two. And or sigma. Are these two given? Right. So in this case, it is given because it is a Zeta's tutorial. So it is given, but not the uh, uh, sigma squared or the variance, but the standard deviation is given. STD def. I'm using the Excel uh, code. Right, standard deviation for one is 0 0.015 and sigma 2 0 0.018. Therefore, your step two, step one, find this two first. If it's given, then it's a Z test. Step Two averages. Right? Step three formula. Alright, so let's take a green pen over there and write down the formula. The formula is y bar one minus y bar two divided by sigma one over n one plus one over N2 and this is Z sorry Z sorry Z0 now in all of our case Z0 is what we are calculating right so 0 means the calculation that you are going to compare with the bounding region of critical critical region Alright, so the equation is only having one as T D def. Alright, so this equation can actually be expanded. Y1 bar minus Y bar 2 divide by a big square root sigma 1 squared, sigma 2 squared. N1 and 2. Right? So note. When you have variance given, please don't square when you use the formula, right? If standard division given, please square, right? So in this case, let's bring back the yellow font. Right, so let's take a look at the average. On the next slide, average is given as this. 
So all those numbers plus them divide by 10 and you get 16.015 uh, and 60.005. This one is given, right? Given. Let's write the word given. And this is your sample number. So practically or technically, you just put all this value inside this. All right, you have y bar 1, you have sigma squared. So in this case, 0 0.015 and 0 0.018 are not the variance. So you must square them first. If these are your variance, don't square them. Okay, so your results or the calculation give you 1.35. What does this mean? Number one, positive. Uh, I'm not sure you can see that. Let's do it one more time. Positive from right. What does it mean by from right? I'll take a red pen. I'm going to draw this distribution chart. So it comes from the positive side. Let's bring back the green pen. Number two. Then accept or all right, let's go back to the, to the previous slide. Step 4. Make it bigger. Step, oh, sorry. Step 4. If your Z0 is less from the Z alpha, and if your Z0 is more than your Z alpha, these two conditions. If your Z0 is less than Z alpha, H0, except. If your Z0 is more than Z alpha, it's H1, except. What does it mean by this? Let's draw a big distribution chart. Your bounding region. This will be your Z alpha. Since this is a T test, eh, sorry, a Z test, you must divide by 2. And 2 till test sum. Right, if your Z0 here, Z0 here, right? So this Z0, this one, is more than Z, uh, Z alpha. This one that I circle here, Z0 is less than because it's inside. So therefore, this one will be H0 except, this one will be H1 except. So, the bounding region is already given at 5%, right? Since this is a z-test, alpha divided by 2, you got 2.5%, and it is 1.96. And 1.96 is more than 1.35. Do not reject H0. And also write both machines fill let's say la, fill bottles at the same time then you have your marks whatever marks i'm gonna give okay All right let's take a look step five Confidence interval. So you might not, you might forget what it says. I'm gonna write confidence interval. What is confidence interval? It has two things. Number one, accept H zero or accept H one. Okay. Number two, range. Right from the minimum and maximum. So since this is H0 is accepted, let's go to the equation. So this is the equation for confidence interval for Z test. So you can see here, Y by 1, Y by 2, Y by 1, Y by 2. And then you have this one, these two. They are the same, right? They are the same. Let's undo. The only difference is this negative and this one positive. Therefore, it comes from the left and right of the distribution chart. And it's negative 1.96. Positive 1.96. Alright. So when you have done and put all the calculation in. Again. Uh, so look at this. 
This one, Z alpha divided by 2, please. Never 1.96 divided by 2 because Z alpha divided by 2 tells you this is a two tails test. It is 1.96. So just put 1.96 there and do the calculation and you get this. Negative 0 0.0045 and mu1 minus mu2 0 0.0245. Let's clear it. If you see a negative value, then a positive value, therefore the number 0 will be in between. And if a number is written between, H0 is accepted. Why? Take a look at your uh, at our hypothesis now. Mu1 equal minus it equals to mu2. And therefore, if we do a simple math or mathematics, mu1 minus mu2, you get 0. And therefore, if you zero in between these two, you have H0 accept. Confirm. Number two, we talk about the range. What kind of range? Range between mu1 and mu2, right? So, if you have two bottle machines, this one, machine one, the bo this bottle filled by machine two, sometimes you have the level is less compared to machine two. So, sometimes you have machine one more than machine two. So this difference between machine 1 and machine 2 can be negative where you have negative 1. So I'm going to use a red font, not sorry, on the screen, red font, 1 less, sorry, less than mu2, you get a negative value coming from the left. That means sometimes machine 1 fill bottle and machine 1 lesser than mu2. Red font, more. So that means positive mu1 have a bigger number than mu2. So sometimes machine 1 feel more than machine number 2. In between, you have 0, therefore he's accepted. And you can see the range of difference of less and more is 0 0.045 ounces when mu1 less than mu2. If it's mu1 more than mu2 or bottle 1 is more than mu2, it's around 0 0.0245 ounces. Right, very easy. That is Zach test. Okay, let's go for this question. So this question is about two machines in this table. Uh, it's about uh, iPhone six unibody aluminium chassis. As you can see, this is a very old question. Right when iPhone six was uh, iPhone six came out. Okay, blah blah blah. Uh, they must. Okay, there's a bold there, a bold font there. Complete the process at the net same time. So, sometimes my question asks you to choose hypothesis. In this case, same time means question once H0 except. I make a circle at the net time and make an arrow. That means we want it to be the same. Okay. So take a look at Y1 and Y2. So these are two machines, the CNC machine that produces a uniform body uh, aluminum chassis. And how do you know this is a t uh, Z test? These two are given. What are these? Now these times, I name these two as variance. Again, variance. Using 95% acceptance uh, level, that means alpha 5%. Since this is a Z test, your Z alpha must give up by 2. And according to the uh, table, it is 1.96 plus and negative 1.96 for the boundary boundary region or the uh, critical region. Okay. So you need to do the appropriate statistical analysis, which is the exact test, and also the range between this. So using the same same step, let's just simply write it down. What are the steps? Step 1, S1 or SIMA. Step 2, averages. Step 3, calculate Z0. Calculation. Step 4, H0 accept or H1 accept? Which one? 
And the last one, step 5, confidence interval. Let's go to the answer. Now, in this answer, I didn't write it in uh, handwriting. I use Excel or Google Sheet and then just paste it here. So this table talks about the readings and the average. So you can see the average for Y1 and Y2 is given as such. And this is the given variance. I put it there, right? I put it there and this is a number sample. So some of you ask me, sir, what is var n? And what is square root n? So technically, I've used a green pen now. Uh, var divided by n. So you can see that this is the one. Var is variance for group one. Sorry. Let's use this one for this and this one for that one. Right? For var 1, var 2, divided by n. I just use that. And then I square root whatever I get these two results. Right? I square root it because uh, I'm using this method. If you don't want to do that, for example, you don't want to do that, let's see. You can just straight ahead go y bar 1, y bar 2, 0 0.015, 0 0.018, and 1, and 2. Don't square. Because it is variance. Okay, don't square that. You can do it as well. And you get your z 0 0.139. And this is red font less than 1.96. H0 is accepted. Both of them are producing the unibody chassis for iPhone 6 at the same time. That is what H0 means. Now, this is the confidence interval equation that you know, right? So I just put there, so see, H1 is, H0 is accepted. Uh, two machines are working at the same time. Production may not be inhibited. Maybe you uh, can write, uh, they don't need calibration. They can produce uh, iPhone at the same time, so on and so forth. So using the CI or contestable 1.96, I have this, right? This is a negative, oh, blue pen. Negative, sorry. Value, you have a zero in between and a positive value. That means H0 is accept. Now, you must also write here, yeah? uh, H0 accept. Please write. Both machines produces iPhone 6 chassis at the same time. Then I give you marks. Okay. So this one also marks. And the range. Since we are talking about time. Right? Therefore, machine 1 sometimes produces chassis, produce lead by, oh, sorry, by 0 0.104, correct? Yes, second. Or faster, 0 0.12, second. Then you have your another marks. I want everyone to get full marks if you can. All right. Anything else? No. That's our final slide. That is tutorial or some questions for Z uh, distribution. Um, I don't have any uh, sample for H1 except, but you know, if you see, for example, uh, if you see uh, alpha, your alpha, for example, Z0 is more than Z alpha, Divide by 2, then H1, accept. Then your confidence interval, right? Confidence interval, mu1, mu2, either you have a negative value, positive value, or sometimes you have a negative value.
and zero is not in B to B. Then H1, except very simple. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.